Gary, yeah. hey, what do you think about Bitcoin, Gary? Uh, no? Nice GTO, man. He said. Episode 16 of what the Bitcoin PM. Windy today, cold wind. Gonna have to put a little noise gate filter on the audio track. Blue, what do you know about audio filters? Hey, anyway, let's get right to the interviews. Rudy. Hey, Rudy, you're the guy that had all the uh, the cool stuff on the antenna. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. In terms of the coolest antenna stuff I've ever seen in my life. Look at this stuff. I gotta say, beautifully done. Kiki Landscaping and Construction. If you guys need some landscape and construction work, I'd recommend them. They, they've got beautiful taste on the antenna art there. Yeah, what was the inspiration? Uh, I don't know, like, you know, whenever we pick up some stuff and we just put it in with decoration, like, you know? Yeah. It's good, it's good find. Yeah, no, they are great finds, yeah. man. It looked awesome. Hey, Rudy, what do you think about Bitcoin? What do you mean? Bitcoin. Have you heard of it? No. Okay, let me lightly explain it. It's a new emerging financial market that's like digital dollars, yeah, yeah. essentially. Have you heard of a, something like that called a cryptocurrency? No. Not no, at not at all. No. Okay, um, do you read the news much? Sometimes. Okay, yeah. well I would say it would start maybe popping up on the news. Prior to me leaving today, I'm gonna get you my YouTube channel and you can start educating yourself there on Bitcoin. Yeah. I'm of the opinion, Rudy, that it's really gonna maybe be the new thing okay right yeah are you uh what do you do with uh your time when you're not when you're not doing this uh spend my time with my family nice my wife, yeah yeah you like to go you go to church on sunday and yeah very good I'm, yeah so you're a man of faith yeah very good mm -hmm. okay do you think there's any chance that influences to the monetary system that would inspire change uh to the top ranks would have influenced by god in any way yeah, yeah, it has to be like, yeah. Because that's a, kind of what Bitcoin is doing. Okay, okay. So, even though you don't know Bitcoin, would you say that now that I've explained it to you, that it's kind of a good thing for society? Maybe, yeah. Are you gonna do some research today after we've talked? Maybe, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, Rudy, let me get one of these. They feel so good, man, okay. these days. People are scared of machine learning and AI because they think it's gonna take the job market. And you said your morning, your name was Joe this morning. Yeah. Hey, Joshua, very nice to meet you this morning. Pardon my little girl, Blue. She may be in and out of the frame a couple times. That's okay. This morning, I was asking you about Bitcoin. What do you think about that, Bitcoin? I don't know much about it. It sounds intriguing in that, I think from what I've read, a Bitcoin is very expensive. Hey, that was the part of the video where I talked to you guys about what a like means to me. It goes a long way means you like the content and lets me know that I should make more of exactly this. And then when you comment, I'm able to interact with you with words. We can communicate a deeper message. Potentially I could use that message you share in the chat. Subscriptions. I upload two to three videos a day. Some of which, or both of which, the two, are both about Bitcoin, AM and PM upload. Yes. But I don't know how you go about buying it or okay. whatever, how you use it. Yeah, so a quick edu educational piece real fast is Bitcoins used to actually be about 20 to 30 cents when they first came out in like 2009 when they were originally being mined. When the process to mine them was a lot easier and how you go about mining them is you use a computer, right? And when you onboard a computer to the mining network, you then start participating in the support of the currency to be held, right? So what supports Bitcoin is the ever involvement of people getting involved into it as well as they're the ones that host the currency transactions. And what's caused it to go up in price over the years is exactly that, is more people getting involved. Mm, okay. Is this starting to kind of maybe... Makes a little sense, I guess. Yeah, and whenever I leave, what I'll do is I'll get you my information and I've actually got quite a few educational videos. But Joe, when did you first hear about Bitcoin? Seven, eight years ago, I guess. Six, seven. I don't you know, six, seven years ago, it was like, gosh, it had to have been under $100 a coin. Probably. And you could have bought one coin and now they're trading like 58,000 a coin. I was a teacher. Oh, <laughs> <Not poor>. I, uh, <laughs> Joe, I see. And that's what's is that people are becoming more educated. Look at how easy it was for me to walk up to you today and start talking about an investment platform that's actually pretty easy to enter mm -hmm. versus me trying to talk about Apple stock and everyone wants to close their fists and not talk about their portfolio positions or in whatever else this uh, financial burden has become, correct? Right. Well, one thing that I'm interested in finding more about is, here, I believe they're called NFTs. 
um, yeah, the the digital artwork that's selling for millions of dollars. Yes. Because uh, I'm an artist, and it's like, how do I do that? Okay. You know? Yeah. How do I sell a digital piece that someone has in their digital gallery? Yeah. When did you first hear of NFTs? Uh, the past couple of weeks. So the NFT grieving process was much faster for you than Bitcoin. Can I ask why? Because uh, it affects me directly uh, as an artist. Yeah. You know, how can I get in on that? Very good. So. Yeah. I I'm would. Sure Bitcoin does too, but. No, I I've see. No, I don't mean it, the, the, the question is pressing and forward. I just wanted to, to see your stand. Yeah. And then you said you heard about Bitcoin seven, eight years ago. Who told you about Bitcoin? Um, either on the news or just wow. tooling around on the Internet. Yeah, no, that I got to say, wherever you're tooling around the Internet, Joe, <laughs> continue to do that because you're ahead of the pace. Yeah. Right. It's just now starting to hit mainstream. It did in 2017 a little bit when it hooked to like 2000 a coin. But now it's at 55,000 a coin, yeah. something like that. It's incredible. Joe, do you think there's any chance that the interruption to our financial market, Bitcoin, is uh, influenced by God in any way? By God? Yes. You said you're an artist, right? right? Do you believe that Michelangelo was not inspired by God himself to craft his beautiful <laughs> artworks is what I'm saying? I don't know that I would tie religion with the financial stuff. Yeah, but why wouldn't we when the Bible talks about finances? Maybe okay. we've become greedy with our finances. Could be. Well, okay, so I actually have a question. So if you have Bitcoin, yeah. can you buy a house with your Bitcoin? Yeah, so can you, you buy can buy, things, no, cars, so you can actually you know? buy Tesla with Bitcoin now. And if I, I wanted to purchase your Toyota, mm -hmm. right? I could just send you Bitcoin and we wouldn't have to include a bank, right? You could just keep that Bitcoin. The only time you'd have to pay a penalty is when you cash out of it, just like a stock market. Okay. Right. So there is peer to peer there. That, so that's... you would get actual cash out of it if you sold. Yes, of course. Okay. And people are always willing to buy the market trades 365, 24 seven. Yeah. And it's all around the globe. Yeah. So that's the thing is it's a globalization of right. the economy. Hmm. That's what brought me to ask if it was potentially influenced by God. I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Do you look around and see anything interesting these days when you look around the world, Joe? Like anything changing to you, a, a positive or a negative way or? Um, I'm pretty liberal and progressive. Yeah. And I hate to see like the people, especially here in Texas, who are not paying attention to the science of the pandemic and just how the pandemic is changing. Yeah. The workplace. Yes. Oh, things like that. Yeah. In a positive way. Yeah. Why do we need to go back to the way things work? That's your life. Thank you, Joe. Joe, that is, you know, on a beautiful end point, I gotta say, very nice to meet you. You too. Gary, hey, what do you think about Bitcoin, Gary? Uh, no? Nice GTO, man. He said, he said, fuck that. <laughs> I said, Gary, what do you think about Bitcoin, Gary? <laughs> that guy was so warm to me too about his GTO. And then he like gets out of there. That is contrary to Stop Blue. That is contrary to the other cops' opinions we've had. The other two cops we've interviewed have been very pro-Bitcoin. So got to say that guy must participate on the other side of the coin and amongst the department. You know, I didn't really get a good idea. So these guys ranks, so I should have ascertained that as if are the younger ranked guys more interested in Bitcoin. That guy was higher ranked. He did, see, he did have some affluence to him, it looked like. As to not have audio disturbances like this, the shock mount, you know, you bump the table, it doesn't convey that to the microphone it actually you know mitigates it through some suspension arms but hey you know this has been episode 17 of what the bitcoin pm thank you guys as always so much for being here and until next time guys stay safe and stay tuned